What's going on everybody? Loader Drumba here and this time I'm gonna do a Destiny another Destiny video for you guys. Um I had actually made plans to do this previously. That I was gonna discuss some of the patch notes based on update 2.00. Unfortunately I really couldn't get around to it. I wasn't able to get on PSN the past three to four days, so you know. Got so that got kind of put to the side, but now that it seems like PSN and Bungie servers are cooperating officially, I won't say officially, but you know, they're at least enough for me to be able to get through what I need to go through. I managed to do some field testing with my warlock along with some weekly heroic strikes. So here we go. Now, as for those of you who are new to this to the game, you probably not going to really understand what I'm talking about, so for those of you who are relatively new, I'll go ahead and kind of give a bit of what's going on. Uh, year 1 weapons have had Checking. some pretty good perks that, Guardian. you know, have been nerfed, some of the Transfer. weapons have been buffed, Guardian. nerfed, but, you know, just rebalancing. So, I went ahead and dug up some of the notes what based on the you? patch, so for those of you new, old, or anywhere in the middle, that really doesn't that don't know exactly what's going on in the world of destiny i will go ahead and name off some of the notes going you know going forward now first off for those of you who might who might just be getting it the level cap right now until tuesday is level 34. once tuesday taken king is officially out the level cap will be 40. Our light level now, our light and levels are completely different. The light will now be determined based off the average of our weapons and armor, which will also be attributed to, contributed to by artifacts, our ghost shells, along with our class item, which has now been considered an armor. Because normally armor, I would consider to be our headpiece, gauntlets, chest, and boots. Now that our bonds, capes, and marks have been added to it, artifacts are available at level 40. Now as to how we'll get these, I do not know. Our, as you can see, I have a new shell, which is available via the speaker. So, with that being said, I have our, our attack values on our weapons and gear have been retweaked and renormalized to reflect our new light system. So the maximum attack and defense currently is 170. With the expansion one weapons, v v which would be word of crota, like word of crota fang, would be 160. 150 for the vault gear, vault of glass. This one's just been ascended, so it shows. So with that being said. Go, moving along here, our ongoing, outgoing and incoming damage has also been tweaked to reflect our light system, which would be our ability damage is directly computed along with our health, and our weapon damage is based on our light score and our weapon attack values. Now in regards to our classes, our intellect, strength, and discipline for the have been completely redone to be a only change on fixed tiers. Now to show you what I'm what I'm speaking of. So there's a tier as you see there's a tier one, tier two, tier three, four, and five. So as you can tell, the higher up you go, the long, the less time it takes for it to cool, which I actually think personally is a good thing to have. Orb generation, it, even for, let's see, where, like for items that make us spawn more orbs, the cap is no longer 9, it is now 8. And, it, and it's a little more difficult to spawn orbs now when you do your supers. Normally, in a spot where I would do 7, like 7 orbs of light, which would, like, for instance, when you're going in the Cosmodrome, there's a little spot where 6 or 7 fallen, you know, dregs and vandals will pop up. Nova bomb them, or you know whatever. So that's been done. For a recovery time at the low end has been so like if you well in this case like let me just tweak this to where I do okay. 
So low end is the one right here. So for recovery, if you're at one, your recovery time has has been, <clears throat> excuse me, whew, the stat time is increased by one second, and the, the high end is reduced by two seconds. They're they're to make it, to make them better choices. Should you, you know, go follow through with it. Pulse grenades. Now this will be their second effect distance is now globally eight meters. So for the thermal and void grenades, it'll be seven to eight meters, and arc about nine is then goes from nine to eight. So pretty much what happens here is the thermal void effects have been increased. Arc has been decreased. The detonation distance still remains at seven meters. The pulse grenade fuse times have been reduced. Thermal pulse, which is the incendiary, base detonation, and damage have been increased to unify the stats with all of the pulse grenades. And an issue where perks granted additional super MG for grenade kills not working currently in Crucible, the issue has been fixed. Now for Defender, Line Attacks, Fist of Havoc, Razor's Edge, they no longer penetrate our Word of Dawn. That was one of those where, um, and honestly I think it's a good thing, because it now makes Defender more compelling in the Crucible. For the Hunter, Gunslinger's Golden Gun damage has now been increased from 350 to 360 to ensure that it is able to kill within the... <clears throat> Excuse me. Within the Crucible. Blade Dancer. Arc Blade now generates up to six ores when geared with exotic armor that increase the spawning rates. Kind of sucks, but hey, what can you do? Blink Movement. Activation Delay increased by 0 0.07. So it went from 0.26 seconds to 0.33. So a third of a second. Blink Movement of Ability Visuals are now changed to make it easier to telegraph. Clear of Activation and Trail. Blink Strike is now doing arc damage, arc bolt grenades, thermal, so fire bolts, I'm assuming is where it says. The damage has been reduced by 25%. It used to do 100 damage, so now it's 75. The range has been reduced to 8 meters, so it used to be 9 meters. So, flux grenade tracking has been changed to where it's not as aggressive, which I honestly think is a very good thing. I mean, because in Crucible, a lot of the people complain about hunters being and warlocks being overpowered. Some people complain. Some people do complain about strikers, but you know, I, I notice more complaints about warlocks and uh, blade dancers. All right, moving along. Our warlock, the strength of the ram helmet. The armor bonus that it used to give five armor bonus. It has now been reduced to three. Sunsinger has, you know, self-resurrection, the free orb, no longer there. And now the Fireborn Sunsinger must kill, and I mean actually kill enemies to generate spawn, to generate orbs. Now, for our weapon changes, auto rifles have had damage fall off starting closer. The stability has been reduced to where you now must have better weapon control to land consistent headshots. Damage done against AI combatants has been increased by 30%. Base damage across all archetypes increased. Pulse rifles, all stable, you know, low recoil. Pulse rifles now use medium rate of fire base stats. Medium rate of fire has been increased slightly, but with the damage reduced by 2.5%. Burst to kill, all precision is still 2 or 3 depending on the victim's armor. Magazine size has been increased, base stability reduced slightly, so more weapon control. Damage against AI combatants increased by 25%. Scout rifles, base damage increased slightly for medium and high rate, for medium to high rate of fire scout rifles. Doesn't change shots per kill in PvP against a guardian with full health. Magazine size has been increased. The accuracy has been reduced when you fire from the hip, so for those of you who like to fire from the hip consistently, you're not going to get as, you know, won't be as functioned. With that being said, moving along here to our hand cannons of oh, damage done against AI, 5%. So scout rifles seem to have gotten the smallest increase. 
paint can and damage fall off reduced to be closer to limit the long range lethalities like Thorn, Hawk Moon, and others. So last word's gonna be not really crippled, but not very good. Accuracy while you aim down sights has been slightly reduced, make, making long range snap shooting less reliable. Accuracy when firing from hip reduced. Magazine reduced on all base stats. And I will be, and I will tell you guys, it is the truth. Even the uh, word of Crota, the no land, not that I'm gonna be on, Fate Bringer, they have been reduced. Even with the, you know, word was at 12, now at 10. Fate Bringer was at 12, back to 10. So, accuracy reduced slightly, accuracy when firing reduced, base optics reduced, so aiming down sight experience more width instead of depth. In favor for depth. Shotgun precision damage grants 10% bonus damage. Used to be 25. Shot package has reduced the cone spread by 20%. Used to be reduced by 50%. The ra the range finder, instead of 20% range increase on zoom, is now at 10%. And damage done against AI combatants has been reduced by 45%. So instead of a 2.25 damage it's a 1.15 sniper rifles final round perk now plus precision damage not base damage only effects when combined with sniper rifles fusion rifles no longer get more accurate with each projectile fired fusion rifles are net slow charging high impact now have slightly lower base range making it harder to max accuracy increase for low range accuracy reduced for high range the max fusion projectile speed has been decreased slightly, and damage done against AI increased by 15%. Sidearms, reload speed base is increased. Ammo stats have been reduced to match other secondary, still retaining starting bonus ammo. The blast radius for rocket launchers have been increased, along with the grenades and horseshoes perk proximity reduced to 1.3 meters when it used to be 1. Point, not 1, used to be 2. Machine guns had an issue where all dead orb machines attached to steel plate failed to animate properly on reloads. And damage done against AI has been increased by 5%. Now weapon perks reduce damage bonuses and penalties granted from weapon barrel upgrades over penetration perks. Now only work on bipeds, no longer working on environment materials. That has been kind of sad. That because some people used to take advantage. Mulligan perk chance has now been increased to 20%, so Mulligan will no longer seem as useless, but it still seems kind of useless in my opinion, my opinion only. So I'll close off this video, that's been the discussion of the weapon perks, I will, my next video will discuss the year one perks, so this one will be a little, and the exotic legendary weapons. So that goes for this video. Feel free to hit the like button if you enjoyed what I've had to say. Watch and it. if you have any questions or you know want to mention in the comments, feel free. I'll be sure to answer them to the best of my ability. Hope you guys enjoyed what I've had to say. Catch you next time.